What's going on guys? So today I'm going to do a video on an accessory for the truck. This is the Viair onboard air system I decided to put on the Ram. And I did it a little bit differently. I know a lot of people, it's standard to put everything up underneath the pickup, <clears throat> along the frame. I didn't want to do that because of the snow, cinders, de-icer, all that stuff they put on the roads nowadays. I just didn't want that on all the parts um, and components and then the quick connect for your hose, I didn't want that to get gummed up either. So let me show you kind of what I did. So first off, this is the system that I came with, the hose and everything. And I actually put my connect system right here in the back, right underneath the LED light. So that way this thing is always under cover, out of the soot and grime of the road debris. And all I gotta do is open my tailgate to get to my connection. So the kit came with this, it's a relatively new kit, part number zero, excuse me, 2002 on Vire's website. Came with a full digital, uh, digital readout gauge here, which is a pretty nice system. And this hose is actually quite nice. I mean, if I grab it, I can walk it all the way out. You know, I'm a good 20 feet, if not longer, uh, behind my truck. And the whole point is to be able to air up the trailer tires on the side of the road if I need to, or obviously reach the front tires of the truck. So anyways, I'm out of my quick disconnect right there. Now for the compressor itself, Here you go. So if anybody that's watched my videos before, they know that I've got the Diamondback ATV deck on my truck, or my ATVs. So if I ever put anything in the back of my truck, I don't want to be able to beat the compressor, which is right here, or the tank or any of the wiring up. Let me get this out of the way. I wanted this stuff to stay protected. And then if I ever want to, you know, store extra hose in here or whatever I can, but I put it in this toolbox on the bed of the truck. And then I, if you can see these holes, there we go. There we go. I just put some breather holes in here. So that way, if the ATV deck's closed and this lid is closed and I'm running that compressor, then I got some air, you know, circulating through this toolbox. Obviously the idea is not to be doing it for a super long period of time on the hot weather without opening this thing up. But real simple, now if there's anything in the back of my truck, if I ever take the deck off and expose the whole bed, throw wood in it, whatever, this is always protected. May not work for everybody, but this is gonna be ideal for my setup here. So lastly, Here's where I stuck the gauge. This is in the top glove compartment of the truck. Unfortunately, sorry, click the button here. Unfortunately, the guy that installed it scratched the tar out of my truck when he put this in. So that will be addressed. In fact, that will be taken care of. Ultimately, that's gonna be replaced because there's not a single scratch inside this truck other than what they just did. So that is the one downfall. However, here's where we mounted the on off switch and the gauge, and this allows it, like I said. So honestly, you don't even know the truck has a system if everything is closed up. Lift that up, it's right there. As soon as the key comes on, that lights up and it's not too loud. So. That's with everything open. So as you guys can tell, you can still hear it, which I want, but it's not overly loud. And then the pressure starts to climb. 
and it actually shuts off at 200 psi so anyways just wanted to give you guys an update share with you the onboard air system for the truck um i'm very happy with everything the way it turned out minus this crap right here and i'm not going to name the place that did it for me because if they take care of me then all is fair so i don't really want to badmouth the company that put this in but that i'm not pleased with everything else i'm very happy with like i said if you didn't have everything open you wouldn't even know the onboard air is here everything is protected underneath my deck even if this deck comes off it's protected under the toolbox and the only thing that's exposed is the the quick disconnect right there so anyway guys just want to throw a quick update and show that to you via air onboard air system on the ram cummins talk to you later